Hi, this is Dave Mass for HomesCountyTicket.com. Welcome to Ticket TV, driven by Village Motors. We're joined in studio today by West Holmes Knights boys soccer coach, Nick Fiorito. Nick, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you for having me. Well, Nick, it's been a couple of tough seasons for you guys the last couple of years here, but I think there's a genuine and very real excitement this year coming into the year. It's a youthful group, but it's a group that I think you get a sense is very capable of some positive things because of, of the whole team concept. I think you're right. We have, we have one senior coming back this year, so we are heavy with juniors. Uh, I believe we have about 11 or 12 juniors and, and quite a few sophomores and freshmen as well. We have the most numbers we've had in about four or five years. We get about 30 kids out. Um, so there is some excitement. We get to, we've, we've had a very, very productive uh, season so far, preseason. Uh, we've done well in our scrimmages. We've done well in our competitions. Uh, the practices seem to be more intense. Uh, so I, I think this could be a year where we could surprise some teams and definitely be competitive. You know, you've done a really nice job this summer of, of working on, on the kids buying into that whole team concept. And it is, it's not a bunch of individuals out there playing, but this is really a, a centralized focus group, isn't it? Yes, I, I, that's one of the biggest things I noticed between my previous four seasons and this year is these guys really seem to gel well together. Most of them have played together for the, so, the whole season. Uh, we've done a few more team building activities. Yesterday we went, we took the whole team out and went and did high ropes course. Um, that so that was, that was a lot of fun to take the kids out of their element. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was the biggest scaredy cat out there, <laughs> but uh, everybody got up and faced a lot of fears and, and it was just excitement because there were some kids who may not interact as much together down on the, on the, in school and they were, they were working together up, yeah. up top helping each other out. And so I think, I think we made a lot of progress this, this, this summer and off season. You know, you've only got one senior in Derek role, but Derek is the kind of kid who I think any coach would like to have as the lone senior because of his character and, and the kind of person that he is. You know what, he's coachable and, yeah. and he'll do what you ask and, and, and he sets a tone. And so I'm excited. Derek's, Derek's um, seen a lot of varsity experience in the last three years. And so it, it's, it's his last year. The other guys have next year, but I think he wants to do some, some good things and, and he's really stepped up this preseason. You know, we've talked before about the OCC being a, a very good football conference, but it's no slouch in soccer either. You've got some real talented teams here to face, uh, and you get to square off against some, some really top-notch competition uh, in league play. Um, you know, last year, it was, uh, you found yourself in the lower end there. Where do, you, where do you see yourselves fitting in in the OCC this year? Well, like you said, it is difficult. It is a very tough league. Um, Mansfield Senior has everybody back. Madison has everyone back. I mean, two D1 programs right there. Lex has had a JV and freshman team as well. So Lex and Ashland seem to reload. Uh, but but our, goal, our goal is um, to finish in the top four and host a OCC game. I think that is, if we can take care of some of the games we should win, I think, and maybe surprise one or two, I think that is a possibility. I've always said that our league is dif more difficult than our sectional, uh, so I think it's going to be a good test yeah. for how we'll do when it comes into tournament time. Now, is this a team that will come right out of the gate playing well? Is it a team that you think will gel as the season goes along? Or Obviously, any coach wants to come out guns blazing, but... Well, and I'll say this preseason, I, I think we've gelled a lot better than what I figured at this point. I figured it'd take some time, but I, I mean, the competition we played has been has been low or high. It's been all over the map. So, um, and we've done well. We've tied and, and won all of our preseason games. So, I'm really impressed with the progress. So, the biggest thing for me now is going to be consistency. Can we can be consistent at this level and not play to the level of competition? Um, we, the guys were really super psyched to play the alumni the other night and, and did very well. We ended up winning 5-2. Um, and, and they had some of the better players, back, Baccarello and Krukenberg and Dan Meehan was out there. He quit coaching for, <laughs> for the night and so he can come out and play against them and Matt Hughes. And, and so it was a lot of fun. The guys were really excited about that game. Yeah, this is as exciting as I think I've seen you coming into the season. And, and I, that excitement, I think, probably carries over to the kids, too. You know, and yes, it does. I, I, I'm excited because I, you, you see what the possibilities are. Yeah. 
And I think that is going to be a big key. A lot of kids worked their tails off this this after the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Some kids were out playing on club teams four or five times a week, and it's really showed. And those kids are going to pop up and and really be leaders on the on the yeah. field. And so it's it's really exciting because these guys are buying into it, and and. and the guys are checking their egos at the door, yeah. and so it, which kind of goes back to getting along with, with everybody. Yeah. And most of the guys seem to do pretty well with each other. So that certainly makes it fun for a coach as well, I'm sure. Absolutely. I mean, you always want to win, but you, I mean, there could be seasons where you're very successful, but it's just so stressful. Yeah. And, and I haven't felt very stressful this year in terms of I think the I think the, the wins will take care of themselves if these guys keep working hard. Very good. All right. Well, there you have it. Exciting upcoming year for the uh, young knights on the soccer field. Nick, thanks for joining us here in studio today. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. For homescountyticket.com, I'm Dave Mast.